Hey guys, welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'll show you guys um, the best settings for Bandicam. Uh, Bandicam is a really good screen recorder. Um, I recommend it if like you, you don't know any screen recorders besides OBS. OBS is really good, but it takes a lot of like FPS, and you need a really good graphics card. If you don't have a really good graf graphics card, sorry, um, then you shouldn't use OBS, and you instead you should use Bandicam or you know other software so you can search up on online. But I recommend Bandicam because that's what I use since I don't have an NVIDIA or you know for OBS, so I use Bandicam. So I'll let you guys know what the best settings for Bandicam is and let's get into it. So first, if you're like a gamer and you want to record that, press this gaming thing. Um, and I really recommend doing that because there's a lot of more options. Um, I'll go over this later. So if you press the game thing, and just so you know, this is like recording a webcam. I don't record webcam, so you know. Um, first going to home. Home doesn't really matter. Uh, general kind of matters. You can choose where you want your videos to go when you are done recording them. You can press this. You can pick a folder. I would, I um, want it to save to my desktop, so I press desktop and select folder. And it says desktop. FPS. Uh, you only have to do this. You can turn off show fps overlay if you guys don't know what that means is when you're recording in bandicam on the top left corner you'll see your fps value um you can choose where you want it or you can just not show it at all i want to show it it doesn't pop up in your recordings but it will pop up when you're playing your game or whatever um it's a good way to show your fps when you're in a game and you don't like know what your fps is um video this is the most important part um, these two don't really matter, unless you're doing screenshots. Um, video, uh, record, stop, hotkey, mine is the tilde key, I don't know what you call it. Um, I don't know, add a webcam overlay, I don't know, I don't really do webcam, but like I said. Um, show mouse cursor, of course you want to do that, but I don't have it on because I play games. And Roblox game, um, I play Roblox, so it has a built-in Roblox cursor, so I don't really need to do this. But if you want to, you can. Um, format, I put it at MP4. MP4 is something that supports like YouTube and a bunch of other stuff. Um, now, for presets, keep it at default so you don't mess anything up. Um, if you're like real experienced in presets and stuff, you can change that if you want. But I recommend you just keep it at def default. Um, settings, file type, MP4, like I said. Size, you do full size so it captures your whole screen. Um, 100% times 100%. FPS, um, I recommend you guys do variable frame rate, because that's what I use. For your FPS, uh, you can do a max. I do max, because, you know, looks better. Uh, actually, this is not the maximum FPS, if you guys didn't know. The maximum FPS... Is 1,000 FPS. I'm not kidding. You can literally go up to 1,000 FPS. I'm not joking. You can go up to 1,000 FPS. Even though it's not on here. You can just type in 1,000 FPS. You cannot go higher than 1,000 FPS. Because it will tell you that choose some integers between 1 and 1,000. So either do 1,000 because that's the highest. Or you could do like 60 or 120 or you know. Um, codec, uh, you can do your CPU, I have an AMD graphics card, but I found MPEG-4, um, a really good one, you can do AMD, it doesn't really matter, it just uses your GPU, I use MPEG-4, I don't know what it does, I'm stupid, so, but I use MPEG-4, cause, um, this looks the best for me, because if it doesn't look good, use your CPU, if that doesn't look good, then use AMD, if that doesn't look good, I don't know what to say, um, maybe try, you know, another screen recorder, I don't know. Um, quality, make sure it is max. 100 is actually the max. If you go 101, I'll show you guys what happens. Yep, enter an integer between 10 and 100. So you must go to 100. That is the maximum. Audio codec, I only have one. You guys might have two. I don't know. Bitrate, I put it at max. Um, channels, I put it at stereo. Um, frequency, I put it at um, 48K. Press OK. That rhymed. Um... Image, I don't do, you know, I don't do screen, um, screenshots with this, but, you know. And then what you can do 
is you guys can pop into a game. Um, let me see if my settings are correct. Yeah. So you can pop into a game, you know. Um, if you're using the game thing, then you have to, it has to be a game. It can't be anything else. If it's not a game, it won't work. Um. So, you see right now, there's no FPS on the top left corner of my things, because there's no FPS. Um. Oh. Uh, how do I get rid of this? Okay. Sorry, guys. Um. So, now let's get into the screen recording mode. Record desktop and web video. This isn't just for games. You can record your desktop, whatever. Um, so let's go to home. Doesn't really matter. General. You know, it's the same thing. Video, same thing. Um, settings. The one difference is that we have F FPS here. Um, for uh, like this, it doesn't show FPS because you don't really need to. Um, same settings. It goes the same settings. Doesn't matter. Image. Yeah, that's basically it. Um, so you guys can test it out. Press the hotkey, or you can press record and get into a game. But anyways, hope you guys enjoyed. Um, like, comment, and subscribe to this video, um, if it helped you, um, let's reach a thousand subscribers, um, if we reach a thousand subscribers, I'll be able to maybe get a new, like, graphics card, cause that would be, like, my dream, and then I can record with OBS, or NVIDIA Shadowplay, and I'll make tutorials on that, cause NVIDIA Shadowplay and OBS are really good screen recorders for free, and I really want to test them out, but I can't because I have an AMD, but anyways, hope you guys enjoyed. Like, comment, and subscribe like I just said. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.